Hi guys, it's Sam. I'm sorry it's been so long since my last video. I've just been really busy with school and then I was on spring break last week. So I've been seeing a lot of people ask questions on how to import patterns into a silhouette without the designer edition. And I see a lot of answers saying, oh, it can't be done without the designer edition. It can. And the reason it can is because you're going to import it as an image. You can import anything you want into the program as long as it's an image or a PNG file, JPEG, something of that sort. So first what you want to do is just find one that you like on Google. And I just typed in digital scrapbook paper into Google and I'm just gonna pick this one just a random one so you're gonna right click it and you're gonna save image as and just save it somewhere on your computer I have a silhouette folder so I'm going to go ahead and save it into my patterns folder and I think I may actually have this one nope alright and just save it so it's gonna download to that folder you're gonna then come into your silhouette program and you're gonna go to file just like you're importing a picture, import and then import to library. You're going to navigate to the folder that is holding your patterns and find the one that you wanted. And unfortunately, you can only do um, one at a time. So it is now imported. And then when you go into your library, it's going to go under my library. It won't go under my patterns. In fact, you can't even drag it onto my patterns. I think that's specifically designed for when you buy patterns through the silhouette store or you have the designer edition. As my folder is empty, I am not entirely sure how to get patterns in there, but it really doesn't matter. So a lot of um, people don't know that you can create your own folders under my library and I'm really OCD so I like to have my own folders just right click and hit my folder and I already have a my patterns folder it's got 143 patterns in it right now so once you do that you can just click it and drag it and you can actually drop it right into this one. Oh no now I may never find it it's okay we don't need that one anymore so to use this as a pattern you're just going to draw your shape and make sure you have your shape highlighted then go back into your library and you see now it doesn't look like it but you have this big uh, pattern piece over your shape you can actually click that and drag it away and your pattern is now in your shape I know it doesn't look like this on this one but it's actually shrunk down to fit in your shape let me show you Oops. So highlight it, and I'm going to pick one that it's going to be easier to tell that the pattern will be smaller. Nope, not that. See the difference? It has four down, and now it has four down. It's actually shrunk it to fit in your shape, and a lot of times that's okay, but sometimes we really don't want that because it will um, distort it. So let me go ahead and where was that? Bring that back out, or one of them back out, and I'll show you how to make it so it won't distort the shape of it. So when you have both of them, just put your pattern in the shape where you want, click and highlight both of them, and you're going to come up to the modify window, and you're going to hit crop. And what that's going to do is crop this pattern to this shape. And now you'll have it perfectly. So that is how you import patterns and how you use them in Silhouette. So I hope this video was really helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or just comment for however you feel about it. Um, I'm also planning on making a video on how to do the advanced tracing uh, to change the icon colors that I had originally promised and I will get to it, I swear. Um, so I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks.